Sault Ste. Marie takes its trails seriously. From the narrow, cross-country ski trails to the well-groomed snowmobile trails, as soon as the snow falls, the trails are prepared for you to enjoy your wintry escape. The Sault Ste. Marie Snowmobile Association grooms 12 trails in the Sioux area that provide more than 1,000 miles of riding pleasure where you can enjoy nature at its greatest wonder. Even in town, Sault Ste. Marie has recently opened up the streets for snowmobilers, where automobiles now share city streets with winter's most exciting mode of transportation. Tom was fortunate enough to get a ride along with one of the groomers, seeing just how the rough spots are smoothed over or a trail is blazed through freshly fallen snow. Many feel Michigan is at her best in the winter, and the best way to experience it is by snowmobile. One man said, This state is just so beautiful, and snowmobiling is too much fun to even think about staying indoors. Well, we're standing here now in the garage uh, for the groomer in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I'm talking with Dennis right now, and Dennis is one of the groomers out on the trail. And Dennis, I'd like to find out something about the trails themselves. So why don't we start out, and what kind of mileage and trails have we got here? Uh, the Sioux Snowmobile Association grooms uh, about 100 miles, uh, slightly less. Um, pretty much a, a big chunk of the eastern UP. Um, we go from Sioux to past Kinross over to... Rayco and partway to Paradise. Okay, so it's a pretty good distance. Yeah. Then. Yep. But what kind of terrain do you get in when you're out there? Um, it's a little bit hilly and right in town here, but uh, our train is pretty much is is pretty flat around here, so it's uh, uh, it's a good place to where you can get out and open up the snowmobile and um, it's uh, we, a lot of it are, is uh, old railroad grades. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. But they can get in, uh, then they get their gas and get to motels and restaurants and things like that. When they're yes, in town. yeah, yeah, there's a, yeah, quite a bit of stuff right on the trail in town here. So. Okay. okay. And Dennis, so when people are out there on the trails and, and you're out there, now you're going a lot slower than a lot of these snowmobiles. It, it, what, what kind of safety factors are involved? Well, the biggest thing, is, um, us being groomer drivers, we want the snowmobiles to slow down, acknowledge that they see us, and then uh, and give us a chance to, to pull over. So you, and then uh, so the snowmobiles can safely go by the groomer. Um, it, the rules of grooming is that we're not supposed to pass the snowmobile. We let snowmobiles pass us. Okay. Uh, so that's one thing we ask of the snowmobilers is to uh, um, you know slow down, let everything kind of settle down, and, and then go uh, drive around the groomer. Okay. So you're trying to move aside for them so then they can get through, but they right. need to give you time to get over. Right. I got to get over, you know, pull over to a um, a safe spot where where I'm not going to fall off the trail. Okay. Um, and, and plus there's room for the snowmobile on the other side. So. Now you're pretty well lit up too. Yes, so people yeah, can see well, it from yeah. a distance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One thing I noticed is we pulled in the garage, you got a lot of signs here now. So I'm going to assume that trail out there is pretty well signed. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. That's uh, one of the big responsibilities in the, in the fall. We have to send crews out to uh, check all the signs, uh, cut back the brush, any trees that have fallen over. 